All right, it is time to clean the kitchen. So my kitchen was pretty dirty because we'd eaten breakfast and then I had gotten ready for the day and done some laundry and other things around the house and then made lunch. So all of that needed to be put away and cleaned up. So I had to put away all of the food prep from lunch first. And then I am now putting away the clean dishes from the dish drainer because I like to have that nice and empty before I start washing dishes so that I have a clean slate where I can put all my clean dishes. Now it's time to load the dishwasher. I always put my dishwashing gloves on for this so that my manicure doesn't get messed up. Makes it last a lot longer. And it was time to run the dishwasher. It was getting pretty full so I always have to rearrange and make everything fit perfectly because yes, putting things in the dishwasher, it is a science. <laughs> so there I am putting everything the way that I want it in the dishwasher so that everything fits and then it gets clean because sometimes you put things in in a funny direction and they don't get the full benefit of the dishwasher so that's what I'm doing. And I didn't start it right then because I was going to be working in the kitchen and watching the television and I wouldn't be able to hear so I just left it a little bit open so I remember to start it when I left that room. Now I'm going to get all my dishes ready for washing and I'm going to speed this up a little bit while I wash dishes in very fast motion. <laughs> I did find while I was doing this video that I felt the need to work quickly even though I knew I was going to be speeding it up so if you feel like it takes you forever to get a job done film yourself and you'll go a lot faster. So I'm taking the dish rag and wiping off all the counters. I wipe off the stove top, the counters, my rolling cart there where I work and inside the sink so that it's all nice and clean. And then I take a clean dish towel that I keep just for this purpose and I dry everything off and make it nice and shiny. I use that dish, dish towel for one for one week and then I wash it so even though it doesn't ever really get dirty I just like to use a fresh one once a week. Alright now it's time to fold some laundry. I started this load earlier in the day like I mentioned so I wanted to get it folded before it got too wrinkly and I'm watching the Annie Griffith show the screen, my TV screen is there to your right, so you'll see me kind of watch it and laugh every once in a while because it's a good show. There it goes. <laughs> so I fold all the laundry, and of course, like everybody does, I pile it in like piles. And then when I'm done folding, whoo, really fast, then I put it back in the basket in the order in which it is put away so that I can just take the basket down the hall and put things away and so my last stop is whatever's in the bottom of the basket. Now it's time, there's a cat in the background as I'm recording this of course, now it's time to dust the living room so I'm taking my antibacterial spray, dusting spray, throwing away some old magazines there, doing the tray, now I'm going to polish my living room coffee table. It always looks so nice and shiny after I do this. Dusting off the legs and the table also has a bottom so I'm dusting that off. Can't really see what I'm doing here but that is underneath the TV, the ledge where that holds the mouse and the keyboard and the remote so I dusted all that off. Now I'm going to do the piano. I like to make sure and get all the stuff on the piano as well. Dust all the lamps, the books, picture frames, and then the piano bench, and down the sides of the piano, because that gets dusty as well. Then I'm going to grab a lint roller and use that on all my lampshades. We do have two cats, so there's lots of cat hair and dust floating around, so I'm going to do that on the lampshades as well as that runner there. If it gets too dusty, I'll throw it in the wash, but once a week it just is nice to freshen it with a lint roller. And my throw pillows get a little run with the lint roller as well. Now it's time to vacuum the rug. Looks really funny watching myself vacuum in fast motion. And then I'm going to take the hose attachment and vacuum the slip cover on my love seat right there to get all the cat hair off that as well. The cat's one of their favorite places to nap is that couch, so try to keep it as cat hair free as possible. 
And that's it. Now it's time for me to relax with a glass of ice water because it's like 100 degrees outside and a magazine. Thanks so much for watching my video today. Now it's your turn to go clean your kitchen and your living room. Thanks for watching. Talk to you later.